The Note 5 has a weird design flaw and Samsung's got a 16 terabyte SSD. I'm Jeff Bacalar filling in for Bridget Carey this week. This is your CNET update. A new Microsoft research project lets people use their smartphones to create high quality 3D images in real time. It's called Mobile Fusion and it requires the user to take a quick 360 degree video of a subject. The software then compiles the images and renders out a 3D object on screen. Okay, so why would anyone need this? Well, a 3D scanner in your pocket would make it easier to convey scale maybe take better photos of something you're trying to sell online or share that extra dimensional detail that maybe couldn't be captured any other way. Samsung's new Note 5 phone suffers from a fairly obvious design flaw that could actually cause users to break a feature on their phone. The phone's S Pen slot for its stylus allows for the pen to be inserted backwards but if you do that you could actually bust the pen detection sensor that's located inside. The worst part is there's little to no resistance when popping the pen in the wrong way, so just a big heads up to owners of their new shiny Note 5s. Swiss watchmaker Swatch is taking some jabs at Apple's smartwatch. The company's chief executive has brushed off the gadget as an interesting toy that can't last more than 24 hours. I mean, he's not, he's not wrong. Anyway, Swatch plans to start selling smartwatches again later this year, but focusing on the watch side of things before anything else. Swatch's new watch will use NFC for mobile payments and other functionality, but don't expect it to monitor your heartbeat or track your steps. However, Swatch says it will be water resistant and have a battery that lasts for nine months. And finally, Samsung has debuted the world's largest hard drive. Earlier this month at the Flash Memory Summit, hey, don't knock the name because that show has the best parties. At the summit, Samsung showed off a 16 terabyte drive. But best of all, somehow it's remarkably an SSD. It's using new vNAND technology and the drive is able to cram an insane amount of storage in just a small 2.5 inch encasing. No word yet on how much it's going to cost, but estimates have it clocking in roughly at just under $8,000. So if you know, you wait like a, a year or so, it'll be like 150 bucks or something. That does it for this update. For the very latest, head over to CNET.com. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar.